Hello everyone, it's PCL here, and in this video I'm going to show you how to fix lagging and stuttering and increase FPS of the game Nascar Heat 5 on your PC. It is a really quick guide which will surely help you. Just watch this video till the end and follow each and every step very carefully. So just before starting with the first step, make sure to subscribe to my channel right now for regular gaming content related to this game and many other games. So without any further ado, let's get started. The first step is the most important one and after performing it, you will see a significant boost in your PC's gaming performance. So we will be downloading a game booster in the first step. A game booster is a software that puts maximum of your PC's power in running a particular game. And the game booster I recommend you to download is Smart Game Booster. It is a really good software but the only thing is that its setup is really complicated. So if you are a gamer and you want to improve your PC's gaming performance, you can download it. But its setup is really complicated so what I have done is I have made a separate 7 minutes guide to tell you how you can set it up for best gaming experience on your PC. So I'll provide you the link of this video in the description so you can do its advanced setup for best gaming experience. Once you are done with this step, I'm sure you'll see a significant boost in your PC's performance. So I'll provide you this link in the description and now let's move to the second step. So this step is again a really important one. In this step, I'll be demonstrating you with the help of F1 2020 what you have to do with the game Nesca Heat 5 because the PC I'm using for recording is not having the game Nesca Heat 5 installed in it. So I'll demonstrate with the help of F1 2020 you do have to do the same with Nesca Heat 5. So just right click on your desktop and go to NVIDIA control panel and if you are an AMD user just go to AMD Catalyst control center. So once you will open it, you will be on this screen, here you have to go to manage 3D settings and make sure you are in program settings and not in global settings. In program settings you have to select your game Nesca Heat 5, so I will select my game F1 2020 and the most important thing is that you have to make sure that it is running using your high performance NVIDIA processor and not your integrated graphics. So select a high performance NVIDIA processor and here scroll down and in power management mode select prefer maximum performance. So it is a really important step. Now it will tell your GPU to put maximum of its performance in running this particular game. So you have to do the same with your game Nesca Heat 5 and once you are done with it, now let's proceed to the third step. So in this step, again I will be showing you with the help of F1 2020 what you have to do with the game Nesca Heat 5. So you have to run your game Nesca Heat 5 in the background and using Windows plus D key you have to minimize it. And once you have minimized it, you have to again go to your taskbar and right click on it and open task manager. And in task manager you have to look for your game Nesca Heat 5, so I'll look for F1 2020 and right click on it and go to its details. And in, in, in its details again right click on it and set its priority from normal to real time. And it will again after performing it you will again see a significant difference because now your PC have been, you, you have told your PC to put maximum of its power again in this particular game. And as you can see, I am running uh, several background apps here. So you just have to close all the background apps and make sure that only Nesca Heat 5 is running once you are playing this game. Now let's proceed to the next step. In this step again, I will show you a setting you can change to get the best out of your PC for running this game. So just right click on your this PC and go to its properties. And its properties go to advanced system settings. In advanced system settings go to performance and in performance go to settings. And here by default it is on let windows choose what's best for your computer. Here you have to select adjust for best performance not appearance best performance. And apply these settings after performing it the PC's performance will be again boosted. So now let's proceed to the next step. This step will be deleting some temporary files that are not required by a PC. So it will give a short term boost to your PC. So just search for run and open run command box here. And here type temp. -tem. And once you are in this folder click on continue and delete everything that's present here. Don't worry before deleting it. These all are temporary files so delete them permanently. These all are junk files so just delete them. And once you have deleted them, select all the files that are not being deleted and skip them. And now let's again go to our run command box and this time here write percentage sign temp tem and again the percentage sign and click on ok. And delete all the files present here too. These all are junk files too. And once you have deleted them permanently, just skip the files which are not being deleted and continue with the files that are being deleted. So it will take some time and once it has been deleted, skip all these files which are not being deleted. And now let's go to win your local SC and here go to windows folder. And here go to P prefetch, where is it? Here it is, prefetch folder. Open it and delete everything here too. And you can skip deleting ready boot. It is also a junk file but just I don't like deleting it. So just delete it. and. 241 gen files are deleted again and skip the files which are not being deleted. 
and don't worry before deleting them these all are junk files and one more thing that you can do is if you are an nvidia user i made a separate guide on nvidia control panels best setting for best gaming experience so you can watch that video and set your nvidia control panel up and you'll again see a significant difference after performing this step too. So I'll provide you the link of this video in the description. So I believe that is it for this video. These were all the steps which will help you in fixing lagging and stuttering of the game Nesca Heat 5. So if you like this video, please leave a like and also don't forget to subscribe for more. Thank you and have a nice day.